COVID slide. That's the term being used to describe the impact that virtual learning had on our kids. A recent survey found 97% of K-12 teachers polled saw learning loss among their own students. And now families are finding ways to fill the gap as tutoring services are seeing a major spike in demand this summer. The I-Team's Cat Reed goes in depth with what tutors are seeing and their advice for parents. Let's go on to our short vowels now. Reading is fundamental, as they say. We're going to go to lesson 34 on our PowerPoint. That's why little Sheree's grandmother wanted to make sure every I was dotted, every T crossed when it comes to her education. I knew that it would, you know, even out the balance with her coming in here. Here being Kids with Class, a tutoring business in Waldo that specializes in reading skills and is currently at capacity. Hilliard is one of the many parents and grandparents who looked for help after a year of virtual learning. Your kids don't really listen to you <laughs> when you're when you're the teacher, so yeah, it was it was rough. It's not really doable. It'd be like if I were trying to be a doctor to someone. I mean, I don't have the skill and knowledge. And so, you know, parents are well-meaning and they want their children to succeed, but they just simply don't have the skills or the knowledge as to how to teach them to read, especially if they've gotten behind. That fear of being left behind is top of mind for parents, according to Ron Wisdom, who runs the tutoring center in the Northland. It's also experiencing all time Time highs for enrollment. The concerns we're hearing from them are just a uh kind of get back to the basics after the difficult year everybody's had with the pandemic. Yet another company, Varsity Tutors, says demand in Kansas City is up 60% compared to last year. If you break it down by category, um, it's 75% for math tutoring, which is sort of showcases how important parents see that making sure that, you know, math skills stay fresh or, or get solidified before we start to build on them. The goal, to turn the page on learning loss. If we shore up those foundations today, COVID slide is a one-time aberration. If we don't, you know, no one wants to have that student who just has that kind of chronic struggle in a subject. When we know we can pinpoint it back to a, you know, a semester or a month or even a couple of days that just didn't click. The tutors we spoke with have advice for the parents watching. Have some honest discussions with your child. You, you know your child the best. And if they need an assessment, uh, certainly uh, places like the tutoring center, we would offer that for free and be able to assess and provide some candid feedback for your child before they return to school. You got it. Help the families we it? talked with are grateful they found. Because I talk, think I'm pretty, you know, on it with reading and things like that. But sometimes you, you just need that little extra. Reading plus math are the two subjects that tutors are really honing in on because the skills build year after year. If you don't have multiplication and divisibility down, then it could be hard to learn algebra one day. For the I-Team, I'm Kat Reed, 41 Action News. According to Tutors.com, the average cost of a private tutor in Kansas City is between $25 and $80 per hour. Meanwhile, tutoring centers cost around $150 to $200 a month. That could be a steep price to pay, so be sure to ask about payment plans and family discounts. Also, talk to your child's school to find out about any free programs 